It's here! Mom! What the f We got a package from Luna Cycle! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I told you, bro. Damn. Take it easy. The thing was that fast. No, I told you, bro. Man. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. He wheelied it. He wheelied it. He lost the hat. <laughs> saw that, huh? Did hey, you that's hey, it. Did you, did you catch me? Hell yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, man? What do you think? This thing is fun. It's fun, bro. Hey, you can, like, drop these. You can crash them, pick them back up, and you're good to go, bro. Man, yeah. I like to ride this mug around my neighborhood. Hell I'm yeah, man. Story. You got to get one, man. <laughs> you fucking ate shit over here. That shit was hilarious, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Ooh, that big head. Ain't nice. I like that. <laughs> Guys, this is Henry. He delivered the Talaria Sting R. And then he ate shit. <laughs> yeah. And then I crashed. And then he crashed the server. <laughs> yes, it's here, guys. Here it is. The Sting R, man. Right. All right, Henry. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. This is the 2023 Suron X. You can always tell that it's a Suron X because of the X on the controller. This one has the 38 amp 60 volt battery, which gives you a little bit more range than the 34 amp that normally comes with it. But everything else on the regular Suron X is exactly the same. The original Suron Lightbe was introduced in 2016, and in 2018, they updated the controller and created created the Suron Light BX. This electric dirt bike was popularized by YouTube creators like Jack Cecil and Suronster. I bought my first Suron in 2020 and now it's 2023 and it seems like every YouTube creator in this niche has a Suron. Now sometime last year a company called Talaria was founded and one of the founders of Talaria actually helped with the original Suron and that's part of the reason why the Talaria Sting looks like a replica of the Suron X. Ever since the Talaria was released it's been an argument between which bike is better and today we're going to settle this fucking debate once and for all. This is my Talaria Sting. R. R. <laughs> that's perfect, that's perfect. <laughs> this is my stunt double, Emilio. <laughs> He's here to help me put the Suron, Suron? Talaria together. Look who's here, guys. Hey guys, it's your boy Mason <laughs> here in fucking Adobo Moto. <laughs> Always with the plug, <laughs> motherfucker. I'm, I'm gonna let them unbox the Talaria, bro. Huh? I'm gonna let you guys unbox it. All right. All right, bet, let's go. You got Milwaukee? Milwaukee? Oh, like the tools? Yeah. <laughs> God, we got really? Harbor Freight tools today. <laughs> so my shoulder is kind of fucked, so... Jesus, always with the shoulder. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, we gotta get the battery charged, dude. Look at those forks, beefy, dude. Wow, that's great, look oh at that. God. It's like... Yeah, those are nice-ass forks, dude. Supposedly they were upgraded. Yeah, everything is upgraded. That's ah. one thing they listen to the customer service, which is uh, real, oh, Mario, bro. real life, you know? I like this team, bro. This is the Adobo squad Ooh, right you here. Know what? You know what I noticed the first thing just now after unpeeling this back? Look at this. It's not much, but attention to detail. I like that, little, uh, that little touch. That is nice, like metal, dude. Yeah, just the writing alone is like, what? Yeah. The battery connector is different, guys. Look oh, at this. It's way different. Way, way beefier. Look at Yo. that. What do you think, Emilio? Battery bigger here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're gonna get the first ride on it, bro. We're looking at more. <laughs> you just gotta charge it. You gotta wheelie it, okay? Fuck no. <laughs> One more thing on details, guys. I just like that, like anodized aluminum color with the red and blue. Yeah, I think sick. Yeah, dude. I don't know. That kind of gives me that sick. Marvel kind of feel. Shit, I don't know. dude. That's nice. I like yeah. the packaging on this. The packaging on the Talaria is way better, bro. Oh my god, dude. Charger. Charger. Oh, it's blue. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. <laughs> so this is a 10 amp charger. Nice. That was nice, That's bro. Nice. Shoot. It definitely looks a lot smaller than the, the Suron X 2023. I like that touch though, because you can fit it in your backpack a little easier, less weight. Under the seat. Whoa. <sighs> I don't know if you want me to unwrap that I wish all the way, Luna had or... a float seat for the Talaria, bro. But I really like how this kind of like it's all symmetrical. Kind of comes like together. It's tight together, you know. Yeah. Everything is like. <laughs> so it down. So yeah. Sure. What's different this is all brand new to me. This right here is like a twist off. When you install the charger, this actually locks to the charging port itself. Watch. Now to take it out, just twist it and it pulls right out. Check out that big ass motor. It's a completely different motor from the old Talaria and the current Suron. Here's one thing that's different about the Suron and the Talaria. The Talaria has a transmission, so they provided some gear oil. That's really nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna sit on it while I cut this shit off. It makes the pop not so poppy. Little pro tip for you. Okay, in America, we call this the Klipa. In Hawaii, they call this the Slipa. <laughs> 
Yeah, look at that. This is everyone's favorite it's part. It's like peeling off a condom, bro. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> And this axle bolt is actually 77777 grade aluminum. <laughs> Dumb. <laughs> that took you that long to think of that? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna cut the wire. We gotta get this cover off. Just like so. Okay, it's a brown wire that we're looking for. We're not looking for this black loop wire. It's a brown loop wire. And you can see it right there. You see that? That's the wire you want to cut. Okay, we're going to clip the wire now. Check this out. Bam! Because I'm extra as fuck, I'm going to go ahead and shrink wrap the wire. I'm going to get this wheel out. <laughs> I could have probably just slid it out. I'm going to get the spacers in. Just like that, just twist it in. Make sure you clean off your rotor. Both sides, okay? Okay, so for the Talarius thing on the front wheel, it takes a 12 millimeter Allen on one side, just like so, and a 19 millimeter nut. Tighten it down, just like that. Here's another cool thing about the Talaria, the brake sensor, you could just unplug. Now you don't have regen braking. All right guys, the shitty part about having a Suron and living in a house and not an apartment complex is I have to wait to throw all this crap away. Luckily, Jason's gonna throw it away for us. Mason. <laughs> My Mason Jagertz. <laughs> that is it. That's how you set up a Talaria Sting R. Get the f out of my shot, bro. All right, Emilio's gonna take it on its maiden voyage, bro. You ready? 40, I'm doing it. Okay, first impression. This cover itself feels way flimsier than the Suron. Oh shit, there's no pegs. We forgot the fucking pegs, puta. Enough. Okay. <laughs> Be right back. <laughs> Mila's gonna go for the maiden voyage. Let's do this. Just switch it. Yeah, and then you gotta press the start button. Or turn on the... It's the very top. This. Turn on this first. Hold, press and hold. Just press it. We didn't turn on the breaker. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Safety. Safety first. We're gonna get this right one day. It's the same key, bro. It's not threatening. What the hell? I thought it was left. <laughs> different. Fuck. So that was one bad thing. <laughs> Saron's already winning, bro. Oh my <laughs> the keys, God, the keys only work once. Oh my God. <laughs> That's it. The Saron wins right now. It's fine. How'd you do it? Oh, it's the what? other the other key. Or it's the no, same. they're the, the same, same f***ing keys. You didn't turn all the way. Alright, so let's turn this shit off. <laughs> okay, we're on. Oh my God, bro. It took us longer to figure out how to get this on than it did to build it. Oh, it did automatically turn on. Okay, and then press this to start. So that's the wait, or should I wait? You gotta press the start. Already, oh, ready. Sport or what? Yeah. Okay, whatever. It's in sport. Good luck, man. <laughs> what, again? So yeah. left is the rear. Yes. Brakes? Just take it easy on the throttle, okay? There it is, bro. Maiden voyage. Where's your helmet at, bro? I know. <laughs> he really took off, man. <laughs> is he on sport? What do you call that braking thing? Bed the brakes. Bed yeah, brakes. are you doing oh. it? I don't know. So just go fast and then hold both brakes. Both brakes. Yeah. Gradual, right? I'm not just yeah, gradual. Yeah. Oh, we got it up! How's it feel, bro? Is it fast? I mean, yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah. Did you do it? I think he did it. I don't know. Yeah, sure. You know how to ride the one wheel? No. <laughs> I do. Oh, fuck, it's right there. So I upgraded the throttle on the 72 volt. Domino. Suron. Yeah, okay. Domino. God damn it. <laughs> Get over here! Okay, so I upgraded the Suron's throttle on my 72 volt to the Domino. I thought the Talaria's throttle was going to be similar to the Suron, but no. Look over here, bro. This 
is a domino throttle. I, it's just rebranded. I love this throttle, bro. Let me turn this shit off real quick. Let me feel it. See how snappy that is? Oh Dude, my God. the feel on this throttle reminds me of my domino throttle. Oh, it is. Yeah. This one's like super flimsy. Like, let's come here. Let's come here. Look how flimsy like the, the stock throttle is on the Suron. And you can't replace that unless you have a aftermarket controller. And uh, you want to touch on having the domino throttle on the 72 volt only works on 72. And then I, now... I just said I just said that. Oh, okay, I was gone, huh? No, I literally just said that just now. I did. Didn't I? Didn't I say that? <laughs> I said you can only upgrade the domino throttle if you have an out if you have a aftermarket controller. Oh yeah, you said that. I literally said that. I. I just said that. Bro, this shit's snappy, dude. My it's god. I'm, race, I'm afraid to wheelie this. Hey, wait, wait. I'm not oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. oh, this shit is insane. Oh. Yo. Yo. Yo, the Talaria instant torque, man. I thought it was going to be harder to wheelie because of this transmission. But I heard this transmission's like new, like it, it's beefier. A lot of people have been having issues with the first transmission. Right. Like people would have to replace it when they upgrade. But yeah, this, this, whoo, bro. Talaria Stingar is where it's at. But I'm gonna let Jason ride it. He hasn't ridden it. He's very technical with his review. So I'm gonna let him do the actual review of this. This has everything you would want out of the box from an e-bike like this. It's not even an e-bike, it's an electric motorcycle. So the play, there's like barely any play. It's like a minuscule little amount of play before throttle hits so it's like super super sensitive it's like right there look how much i'm like inching not even inching just centimetering that's even a word it's all power all that i take it back he's the worst reviewer <laughs> <laughs> i'm on the rad powers bike emil's on the Suron. No race <laughs> i'm not even wearing my helmet either bro you think i can wheelie this <laughs> never mind bro this shit <laughs> i'm a wheelie it's gonna fold in half bro <laughs> Yo, this is not fucking safe, bro. This is not a safe e-bike. <laughs> <Yo! laughs> All right, guys. Jason's on the Talaria Sting. It's not like your typical egg rider because it's already on, but you do need to press this new valid start button. Um, right now, you're in sport mode, or right now, I'm in sport mode. I'm gonna need to edit the. Out of this video because Jason likes to talk. I do. Um, those little M for master, you click that to change it to eco. All right, so uh, domino throttle with a rebrand on the right side, it's feeling good. We're out here, full power. Sorry, did not change this to uh, right now, it's in kilometers. Uh, we need to change that to MPH, we just haven't figured out how. Top speed run, 50, 6, 60, 69, 70, 72, 73, 74, 75, 78. That's where we're at right now, 78. Damn, got those fools in the dust. More solid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and girl. How is it? It's good, man. It feels so solid. Run that playback. I'm recording that wheelie. If you had your uh, float seat, that would be stickier. Woo! I don't like this throttle. The stock stock X throttle? Yeah, I like the ODI. Or what is it called? Uh, Domino style. All right, we're on a coffee break. Initial thoughts so far? Yeah, man. Fucking A, everything. Everything is perfect. You look cold, bro. Why did you get a cold drink? It's a protein shake. Oh my god. Give me some protein. Jesus. Alright guys, we're back on the Suron X and uh... <laughs> <laughs> so we're back on the Suron X. Cycle Cruiser. <laughs> That's coming through. <laughs> Ready! Great. Set! 
I'm gonna go around you. Yeah, go around me. Holy moly! Yeah, he's way faster, bro. That's so much faster, dude. And you like, you let off the throttle and I was like floored the whole time. Yeah, I was like trying to catch up. Even when you let go, you kept going. Yeah, and I was like trying to go the, I didn't even like let go. Man, that shit's way faster. This is an e-bike. <laughs> <laughs> this is a truck. <laughs> right. All right, they're gonna drag race the Talaria and the Suron again. Two and three. Damn, that Talaria is fast, dude. All right, bro. <laughs> what do you think about the Talaria versus the Suron? Everything's bigger and better. I'm not gonna lie, because it literally is bigger. We got the motors bigger, the fucking forks are fatter and bigger, uh, the the wheels, they're wider. Uh, the chain stay is wider, so you can fit, like, accommodate wider wheels and wider rims, if you want to call it that. Um, I like that this has a little bit more of a rise in the stock. If we're going stock for stock, this is higher on the rise. Like, it's mild, but you can feel it. I almost feel like this is a little bit more narrow, so it's a little bit easier, but maybe I could be wrong. But I always feel like the Saron stock bars are a lot wider, but for some reason, this feels a little bit more short, which is better in my opinion, getting it in and out of the car and then more control. Like when you're making turns, you're not like just like this, you're more like natural, right? Um, I don't even have much anything else to say, except I wish this wasn't so... You guys can hear that, right? And then we'll come over here to the Suron. Fingernails, right? Solid. That's, uh, this is lighter, obviously. I think it's um, 20 pounds lighter. 20 pounds? Ah, that's what that's I heard. the difference? Yeah. Okay. Um, I feel like out of the box, I feel comfortable on this for jumps and just kind of flinging around and making circles all day. And this feels like more like a street bike. Even though I know they're both the same, it feels like this is like solid. Doesn't it feel beefier? Beefier, yeah. Oh, and then going back on the wider and bigger and better, like this right here on the seat and this whole down section, even though I know that they're both have batteries there. Right. This feels top heavy. So like when I make turns, sometimes I feel like it's the weight is like falling. This feels all the way solid, like all the way down to the base. So control factor it just feels so much more natural. Just go fast no issues so clear winner in my book stock for stock it's gonna be Tlaria. what's up guys mason jagat here <laughs> backwards <laughs> plug bro <laughs> i yeah uh, i agree with a lot of things he says my favorite part of the Tlaria sting obviously you guys already know it's the throttle for me i really enjoy this throttle i keep calling it the odi but what is it called McGrew. <laughs> It's the, uh, it's the, uh, it's the, uh, got me overthinking now. ODI? No, no you keep saying ODI now, I'm going to keep saying it. The Domino, Domino Throttle. Fuck. <laughs> Make sure you got that duet. Yeah, Jinx yummy yeah. soda, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> you didn't even drink the coffee. <laughs> Overall, it feels like a more solid platform. Beefier forks, beefier wheels, beefier everything. Just like what Jason said. Shh, Mason. Mason said. <laughs> I do enjoy that the Suron X is a lot lighter because I like to put the Suron X in the back of my Prius, but I don't think that's a factor really once I take out the battery. I think a lot of the weight comes from the bigger battery on this bike. For $4,300 versus $4,500 shipped to your door, I also choose the Talaria Sting. I never thought I'd see the day that I'd say that something's better than the Suron X, but today, today is that day. Talaria Sting R is the bike that you want. Not the Talaria Sting. Supposedly it has a brand new motor, which 
clearly they're completely different. Nobody really knows how much power this thing can take because there's no 72 volt Talaria R as far as I know. Now you guys know I have a 72 volt Suron that's tuned to 15 kilowatts which is almost double this power. One thing I've heard about the Talarias is they lose torque on the top end and I didn't get a chance to top speed run it but I'm gonna let Emilio explain it a little bit. What's your sign, so, girl? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so how did it feel when you did the top speed run? It actually felt comfortable. I felt safer compared to the Suron. Actually, one thing that I don't like about this bike is it's heavy, but the heavy aspect of this bike compensates with the easier or it feel it feels safer because it's heavier the only thing again it's it's the gearbox for me i don't know if that's like a deterrent but if that gearbox fails it's like a 250 dollar part i don't know what do you guys think uh I don't know anything about the gearbox to be honest. What happens if you run it without it? Is it going to function anymore? Alright, cool. End of the video. <laughs>